Hey, my people. Trying something very experimental, and I want to see what the results comes about. Start off with some water. You can go with hot or cold. I got it on hot at the moment. Get that water up in there. Take this from there. Now, set the water off. Throw me some potatoes into the water. Stove is already on. I'm gonna turn it up to an eight. And then from there, I'm gonna bring it up to the boil. Hey guys, so I'm back. I've uh, had my potatoes boiling for about 20 minutes under pressure. And I have my grater over here. And I'm gonna go with this grater. And I've had my potatoes in some cold water because they were pretty hot and I don't wanna scold myself. But now that I'm back, I'm gonna take this grater I'm going to get this potato sliced all up as I get ready to make my dough. Be careful, as I said, it's hot, so don't burn yourself. Get some nice size cuts in here. Get some of this. Keep that skin all out. That's, I actually do like the skin, so yeah, pretty hot right there, folks. my grater I'll get up in there get my little foot right here <laughs> feel like I'm making music in the kitchen folks Get loosening those potatoes from the inside of the grater. down to it. It's pretty hot. Be careful, these graders are nice and sharp. Don't cut yourself. Goodness mixed in. The rest of it.
got that there. Next step, gonna give me a good egg. We'll go with just one, one large egg. Egg. And some garlic powder. powder some cornstarch turmeric some salt A little bit of oregano. Some Parmesan cheese. I don't want this too spicy, but a little bit of red crushed peppers. So now I'm about to get this mixed about I'm going to go with some Parmesan topping. A little coconut oil. mixing make sure everything gets incorporated okay next step so I have some normal foil and I have me some parchment paper I'm about to get this dough Tuned in and mixed about. So first thing I'm gonna do, and I don't want a lot of this at all, but this is for make sure we don't over stick. Made me a little bit of flour. All right, now we get the flour. Salt. Can't see, but those are little pieces of rice grain. You're moving it. Now that's in there, I'm about to get my mixture. I'm gonna put it in inside of my pan. I'm gonna get it shaped. Moving these items out of your way and mine. Now I'm about to shape this. I usually do this with hand, but I'm gonna go with spoon.
I'm gonna make sure I get this dough nice and even. So I'm gonna pop this in the stove at about 375 for maybe about five minutes and that's just to create a drying effect and that drying effect can make it easy to put the toppings on so I'll be back when we get ready to do that all right folks I'm back and I want to tell you the truth I thought this was gonna take a short amount of time it actually took about 20 minutes uh, and honestly, I put the stove up to in the 400 degree. Well, actually 450. Then I went up to 500. Uh, I, then I re it resonated on me that basically this dough is like hash brown when you think about it. So with the foil being under it, and I put some foil on top. I actually put it in a pan, and I'll show you the pan really quick. Real hot. I use my really big pan, and I basically flipped it back and forth. And what that was doing is wicking the moisture out, and that's what I wanted to do. Well, now that the moisture is basically all the way wicked out, and that's what we wanted, well, we about to end up having our fun now. We about to build us a pizza. So I'm gonna grab my toppings out, and we're gonna get this rolling. Also, I want to say this: if you choose to make this uh, recipe, don't use parchment paper. Um, I thought about it, and when I realized it. I remove the parchment and I just use foil on both ends and I let the heat basically uh, create a crisp and I, when I did remove this parchment paper I was very slow about it because I didn't want to tear it and it actually came out decently well so of course the recipe go if you're listening don't use parchment paper all right with that being said we're about to start now right now I have this simple marinara sauce I'm gonna pour on being real easy about it, so I'm give me some marinara. I'm give me some more marinara right here. Getting that spread about. Mm. Be fair with the sauce. Okay. All right, that's a nice amount of sauce we have here, folks. If we want more, we will add more, but for now, we're going to be okay with that. Now, I'm about to take me some Parmesan cheese. Getting some of that Parmesan all on those edges, too. Paint your edges, people. Now that that's at it, about it. I took three chicken breasts. They were frozen. I boiled them. After I got done boiling them, I took them out. I sliced them down. Lightly seasoned. The seasoning was salt, pepper. I'm oh, sorry. It was light salt, no pepper, uh, garlic pepper, uh, garlic powder, onion powder. Goodness. I guess I'm stuck on peppers here. Garlic powder, onion powder, a touch of paprika. And I, you know I care about your heart, so a little bit of turmeric. And this is our chicken right here. Now we're about to get it added here. We're going to put as much as we can stand to put. Get you some chicken in every bite. So now we got a chicken. Actually, I want a little bit more chicken. Why not? We can do it. Please. I feel like that's that's good on the chicken. Okay, now that we have our chicken at it, taking our next step here. I'm gonna add some more. Onion powder. 
light Put that out the way we're gonna do this more than once but for now I'm gonna show you I'm gonna add some of this Italian seasoning Italian seasoning. Grab my plate. Put a little bit of this uh, purple onion. I'm gonna add some more in a second. Doing something a little different. Add me some broccoli. Broccoli at it. I like how it looks, but I want a little bit more of that chicken. Yeah. Mm. You give me some of this barbecue sauce added on to here. You're wondering this is an original barbecue sauce made by Kraft. Now I'm gonna give me some of this cheese. I actually went with a triple cheddar style blend. those corners edges all right now I'm about to give me some of this bell pepper side I'm gonna get me some uh, on both sides I actually want a little bit of mushroom Forget the garlic. So the garlic was spreading out here. And I'm about to add 
add some more Parmesan cheese. I don't know about you, but I want a little fennel. Um, uh, a little spice here. Some red crushed pepper. Didn't add it, but meant to do some more. Oregano. And other than that, we don't need a lot of this. Gotta be careful with it. Just a little bit of salt. I'm gonna put some in my hand and spray some salt about. Alright, now I got the stove on 420 degrees, and I'm not coming out until this boy is painted at a beautiful golden color. We'll be back soon, folks. Hey, my good. Hey, people. So I'm back. So this is the end result, and what I have here is a chicken and broccoli and a uh, chicken and barbecue style pizza made from a potato, basically uh, a hash brown bottom, and then the toppings. I'm about to give it a slice. So right here, being real careful, still nice and hot, but I'm just going to give it a Slice down the way. Yeah. Slice it across. Still nice and hot, so be careful when you get yours. Oh. I ain't gonna lie, folks. I'm sorry that happened. Let me get this around so you can see. Looks a little crazy, but again, you got a uh, chicken and barbecue and chicken and broccoli pizza uh, made with, with potato. I really think this came out really good. It looks delicious. It's time to try it out. Y'all guys saw the recipe. Gonna repeat. Also, take as much time as necessary. I'll tell you the truth. On the dough itself, uh, making it took no time, but actually getting it to that dry point took longer. Also, I repeat again, if you at this point do not use parchment paper, it, it will not go out great. Make sure you use some foil, and if you need be, put a little flour on the floor, foil that will stop it from sticking. Uh, other than that, take it out, let it cool down, and enjoy. only thing I'm going to add at best to it at this point is a little bit more Parmesan. Other than that, it's time to eat. To the next.